What's going on, everyone? Let's talk about FTDs real quick. So there's an article going around that says AMC fails to deliver up 1,088% in latest data. Now it says major new data just came out today from the SEC. It shows fails to deliver an AMC up 1088% in the first half of August. Um, not, not sure where they're getting these numbers from, but anyways, these fail to deliver sometimes happen uh, for benign reasons. But when massive fails to deliver occur on a stock over a sustained period, it's often a sign of naked short selling. Naked short selling is the illegal practice of intentionally selling shares short, betting against them, without ever borrowing the shares as required. This is a powerful tool to distort markets. Since you never have to actually obtain any shares, you can sell as much as you want, pushing down the price. Look, Gary, even this retarded news company figured this out. This is the same one that uh, posted the FUD about the FINRA article, by the way, I believe. So basically, the fails to deliver an AMC are truly enormous, and after falling significantly last month, they're back with a vengeance. As of August 13th, the last day in the series, AMC's fails to deliver were 150 times lar 157 times larger than Apple's. That is okay. That has nothing to do with anything. Apple is the largest stock in the market at 113 times AMC's market cap. Cool. How could there be so much questionable activity in such a small stock? I strongly suspect illegal trading likely on the part of hedge funds. Maybe they're trying to make back some of their losses. More on AMC. Anyways, the point th of this is, is to generate traffic. Obviously, look at this website. There's an ad right here, ad right here. Uh, you know, just keep that in mind. Because when you drill into the data itself, I got it pulled up right here. For AMC, the first half of August, we did have a substantial increase of 3.252 million 933 shares aggregated failed to deliver uh, first half of uh, August. Now, what they don't mention is it's pretty consistent over time. So we have, you know, 77,000 here, 161,000 here, 134,000 here. Uh, the biggest couple days we have is almost a million, um, the 12th and 13th. So keep that in mind. While the, you know, they're trying to basically overplay this um you know it, it is what it is they are up but is it anything to get super excited about i i wouldn't i wouldn't think so um remember what all happened with the the threshold list anyways this is amc and i like how there's no mention of gme who is not far off from amc as far as shares considering the price difference gme failed in one day on the fifth one point three million in one day at 146.80 <laughs> so yeah fails to deliver are up for both um yeah so we have that various prices aggregate 3.2 million for amc aggregate 1.8 million for gme so we'll see if they deliver on t21 <laughs> you know how that goes but uh, yeah, just wanted to reiterate that uh, this is what's going on. I think this article is obviously you know a little bit biased towards AMC, um, given the fact that they put out a article on Finra. But they were talking about NSCC 010, so just keep that in mind. Um, no matter what the news is coming out, just take it with a grain of salt. But however, not bad, not bad at all. We should have an interesting month, everyone.